First, I want to say that uh, Ken, I think, oh, I identify myself. Marion tells me. First, I'm I moved to, to Spain uh, in the English department. In answer to you and to Joy Carter asking us to get beyond the problems of race, that it's extremely easy for someone to call for peace when you belong to the group that gets to define the conditions under which that peace is going to take place. When the Hawaiian government was overthrown, that created certain economic, social, and psychological situations. One of the psychological situations that created was a mistrust of Halley's. The economic and the social uh, circumstances are still in effect in Hawaii. No way can we ask for the psychological effect, mistrust, to be taken away when the social and the economic remnants of that overthrow are still in place. There's no way we can ask for that. I heard a very, very good presentation at a panel, a young woman, an Asian American woman, who said that there will be peace when there's justice. And I don't think any of us can ask for anything else that we can only begin to even think that we might be able to transcend racial and ethnic barriers when the results that we, our culture, the white culture, has put onto our world because of our refusal, not their refusal, our refusal to accept different ethnicities it's only when, though, when we have been able to get rid of those results that we can ever ask for any kind of peace. Because we're the one that brought racism. And I think that that's the way that we have to understand the Hawaiians' determination that we will not take their word Halley and put it into our psychological situation. There will only be peace when there's justice. And until that's true, we can't ask people to erase their feelings. All right, we have another call waiting, so let's take it. Hello. Hello. Yes, to whom is your call addressed, please? And what's the nature of your question? To Mrs. Halnani. Ms. Trask, um, I just want to say I'm a, I'm a Haoli and I'm married to a Hawaiian. And I'm glad to be married to a Hawaiian. I feel privileged and uh, because I think that you're beautiful people. And uh, one thing, I do understand what you're talking about, uh, about the racist. And uh, I do agree with you. I really do. I mean, I would feel bad if someone came into my land and took all my land away from me. I strongly support what you say. And uh, hey, just go for it. And that's one thing. But I do agree with what you're saying. That's all I have to say. Thanks for calling. Any comment on that, Professor Trask? I wish there were more like you. Oh, really? 